Yes, my fans. Morning, 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 morning. It is your boy Bonnie again. Come to have a little talk with you, my fans. Yeah. So what am I talking about today? I'm on a trail. If you're following my channel, you will realize that I'm trying to help people to connect with family. So this situation getting more and more serious. So if you're following my channel, you will see where I do an interview with um, a 94-year-old lady um, last year. Now, where am I going here now? This situation I'm talking about now, I leave Jamaica and come to UK. And when I was in Jamaica, as a little boy growing up with my parents, my parents never told me that I have any relative in the UK. Now, my fans, something we must realize that when we was growing up as a child, our parents never sit us down and tell us anything regarding family background or family history. Now, if you grew in the West Indies, you will understand exactly where I'm going. Because if you at home or anywhere where your parents talking to someone as a child, you dare not come and stand like you listening to what they are saying or looking at them when they are talking. Because our parents, they were so secretive. Things that I see children do nowadays and get away with it. In my days, my parents talking to someone and you come by the door, come stand up, or come stand up on them foot, hold on to them. No, 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 no. Your parents turn around and look at you and just the look that they gave you, tell you, get away. And if you don't, as soon as that person gone, you and your parents are going to talk, whether your mom or your dad or whoever it is, grandparents, it's gonna, they're going to deal with you. So, what I'm saying, we grew up, don't know anything about the background of our family, away from what we see. So, our parents pass away and gone, and we don't know our family history. And that is what happening right now. We cannot trace back our family history because our parents never sit down and talk to us. Because my age group and my sisters and brother who are older than me still don't know anything about the family. So I just start to learn now that my family is bigger than what I expect. So before I leave Jamaica to come to the UK, I never know if I have any relative living in the UK by the name of Bentley. Because my father never tell me one day that he have any brother or any sister or any known relative living in the UK. My father never one day told me that. My grandfather, before he, was, he died, he never told me that he have any relative live in the UK. So, when I come to the UK, I happen to go to a funeral. And when I go to this funeral, in the church, I hear them call up a man by the name of Reverend Bentley. And I'm cutting this a bit to say, if anybody living in the UK right now, and your name Bentley, and you're watching this video, please leave a link in the, the link. Just put a comment in the link. Because I have children in the, in the UK. I have grandchildren in the UK. I have nieces and nephews and cousins in the UK that I don't know. And I'm saying, if you're near Bentley and you live in the UK, wherever in the UK you live, please leave a comment in the comments bar. Now, as I said, I go to this church for a funeral. I hear the call of a man by the name of Reverend Bentley. When the man got up and he started to speak, when the service finished, I went over to this man and I said, excuse me, where are you from? He said to me, East London. I said, no, where are you from originally? He said, Jamaica. I said, where in Jamaica? He said, St. Andrew. I said, 
Who is the relative in St. Andrew? I said, do you know a man by the name of Arthur Bentley? He says, my brother. I said, that's my grandfather. And he turned to me and he said to me, who are your father? I said, Rye Bentley. He was shocked to know that Rye Bentley is my father because Rye Bentley is his brother's son. That's how close it was. Rye Bentley, which is my father, is that man, Reverend Bentley, brother's son, which is my grandfather. And only to find out after that, that there was two brothers of them here, Willie Bentley, and um, I have three, Aunt, Aunt Clara, Aunt Ellen, and um, Aunt Rini. Those is a relative them that I never know. Aunt Rini, I hear from Aunt Rini when I was living in Jamaica. I hear of um, Aunt Iris, which I, well, I know Aunt Iris. With their, their Dixon family. Yeah? But what I'm saying, these are people who they married and then they changed from Bentley to Dixon and whatever it is. But these are my family. In England here right now, I have lots of nieces, cousins in England here. And I don't know them because Willie Bentley have children. Um, we have Captain Bentley, which is a cousin, have children. You have um, Victor Bentley. They are all my family and they have children and they have children of children. So in England here, I know there's a whole heap of Bentley in England. You're young Bentley coming up. I have children in England, which is Bentley. I have sons and daughters which carry the name Bentley. I have grandchildren in England that the name changed from Bentley because of father. So imagine these children grow up and they come, they don't know who their relative is in England here. They probably even leave and go somewhere else and meet up with somebody because their name changed from Bentley to whatever it, it is. Your children is interacting with other relatives and they don't even know. And this is something that really driving me into this thing. And I will ask any person out there, sit down with your children, your grandchildren, and explain your family background to them. My mother is um, Muir and Kelly. The Kelly family and the Muir family, they are broad. And the Muir family, this is where I'm going because I know my mom, dad, and I know my mom, mom. That's the furthest I know in that relationship. But since I started this YouTube channel, I start to realize that this Muir family is bigger than what I expect. When I was growing up, there was a lady in Jamaica them call her sister Lee. I never know this lady because when I absent, she died. But I know where our whole house was because the house never completely break down. It was still a part of it. And this was a place called Mount Vernon, Top Mount Vernon. There was a shop with a whole house. And the lady didn't name Sister Lee. She used to have a shop. Now, I only hear of these people. But I never know that Sister Lee and her husband was my grandfather, mother and father, which is Uncle Johnny Muir. So, now I'm getting into this history where I meet this lady in England called Mother Mac, come from Mount Vernon, Tap Mount Vernon. She is 95 years old now. She know a lot more about this family that I'm talking about right now. And I'm putting out this video because I'm appealing to someone out there. If you know anything about the Muir family, I would love your feedback. Because Johnny Muir have son and um, bookkeeper Muir, which passed away gone. Um, Johnny Muir got son called Wilbur Muir. Um... I can't remember them out of, off my top of my head now. Um, my daughter, Aunt Cass, Sister Cleo, 
Sister Ida, my mother virus. You know, Aunt Ida. You know, these are Johnny Moore children them. And what I'm saying, I know of these family because they were alive when I was there. But they passed away and gone now. But we need to find the whole ahead. Because I met a lady, I met a guy in England here who contacted me and told me his name is Muir. He is trying to find his relative. There's a video on the channel already with him and me talking. We're trying to find his family. His, his mother is Muir. His father is Walker. And he desperately needs to, to find his family because he's the only child for his mom. And it's the same thing. His mother never sit him down and tell him anything about family. So he don't know any family. And his mom gone. Now, as I said, the Muir family is big. In England here, I never know of any Muir family was living in England before I come to England. Away from my sister. That's the only connection with the Muir family I didn't know. Because there was the Muir them that I know, they come back to Jamaica. Like um, Uncle Wilbur was living in England, he come back to Jamaica. Um, Uncle Buckkeeper was living in England, he come back to Jamaica. I don't know if there were any children leave back that carry the name Muir. So, um, I have a cousin that living in Luton. She went on Bible study and Zoom. She managed to saw a name pop up on Zoom, Mimur. She contacted this lady who name is Muir and said to her, I saw this name come up on Zoom, Muir, and I am a part of the Muir family, so I just want to know if we relate it in any way. So because my cousin is young, because this cousin I'm talking about is Uncle um, Bookkeeper, son daughter so it's uncle bucky but granddaughter so she's young she don't know much more about the family so she put me in touch with this lady so what happened i managed to call this lady and the name them that she called to me i don't recognize them and the people who i call she don't recognize them because she leave jamaica when she was seven year old and come to england she's in her 60s so the the, the connection here that I want to, to make is I take her, I went to the 94 year old lady and I speak to her, will she speak to this lady? Now, because this lady come from Mount Vernon where Sister Lee them used to live, she can give names of people. So this young lady, all the names them that this young lady was calling and the names them that the 94 year old lady was calling, they all interrupt. So she knows the name them and she know both of them know the names them. So what that's telling me now, definitely there's a connection in the family there. But we want to find out how close this family is. So people name like um, Sister Lee, which is the Muir, and her husband from way back in Mount Vernon, Jamaica, St. Thomas. And Johnny Muir, Margaret, and Aunt Margaret. So if you, the, the, the Muir and the Kelly is interlink. If the Muir and the Kelly is interlinked. So if you know anything about the Muir and the Kelly family, please, 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 I need your feedback. So this new name that we find now is a person called Gilbert. Gilbert Muir. And Gilbert Muir was living in Wilsden, London, England. So, if anyone out there know about Gilbert Muir, Gilbert Roy Muir, used to live in Wilson, London, and you have any connection with this Gilbert Roy Muir, she have a daughter by the name of Doreen, Doreen Muir. And these are the connection that I'm trying to, to get. So, I am asking you, please, if you out there, anywhere, what are you in America, England, Canada, UK, wherever you are, Jamaica, and you know anything about the Muir family, anything about the Muir family, 
I want to tie up these few bits and pieces. I own a piece of paper in my hand with two names. And I want to tie up these few pieces because in the UK, as I said, in the UK here, I meet two people that have the name Muir. Two people. One of them don't know no relative at all. You only carry the name Muir. One of them can give me her father's name, which is Gilbert Roy Muir. And her name is Doreen Muir. My fans, help me to help someone, to help myself, that we don't come into this family tie where children end up with their cousin, their nieces, and their nephew, whatever it is. Because I'm going to leave this with you where I know about a story where a lady had one son. She leave this son in Jamaica with somebody with not connected to her stranger. She went to the U.S. But when she go to the U.S., she never keep in touch with the one son that she live in Jamaica. That son grew up, somebody from America went to Jamaica and saw the young boy and liked the young boy and decided to give him a bly, take him to the U.S. When he go to the U.S., he grew up a big young man and he was going to a party. He went to a party and he met a lady at the party. They have a talk, they have a drink, and he ended up back at her house after. While they were there sitting, talking, the lady turned to the young boy and she said to him, where in Jamaica are you from? And when the young boy tell her where are you from, only to find out that this is exactly where she leave her son. She said, who is your relative? She said, he said, I don't know my mother. I grew up with this lady. And when them find out, only to realize that this lady, the boy that she's sitting in her house with was her own son that she birthed. No, God, I would say God was so good. God was on this job. Because if God wasn't on this job, this lady would end up going in bed with her own son. Who to tell? She'd probably get pregnant for him. Who to tell? You know, listen, listen, my fans. Listen, my fans. This is deep. And I'm telling you, this is deep. And I want to break these type of curse. I want to break them. In the name of Jesus, I want to break this type of curse. So I'm appealing to every person out there. Sit down with your children. Talk to them. If you know anything from way back, tell them no. Tell them no. Let, let it really stand to the head. Tell them what their grandparents and their great-grandparents and what you know. Tell it to them that they don't miss out. My fans, I'm not going to stretch this video out. I'm asking for your help. And if you know anything about East family, or if you want to leave any comments in this chat let me know what you feel what you think about this video because i'm personally i'm personally want to break this curse as much as i can so my channel is to help someone to help someone to break this type of curse there are family curse that need to be broken our children need to know who our family is thank you for taking the time to watch this video and remember my fans, remember my fans, don't, don't come off of this video and don't leave a comment. Don't care how small it is, just leave a comment. Just tell me how you feel about the video. Just tell me how you feel about the video. And if you think what I'm saying is true, I need to be happy. God bless you. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Give the video a thumbs up, like it, share it, comment and subscribe to the channel. Be a part of the family. Thank you. God bless.